What's up, Sassy Gamers? Today is August 13th, 2021, and this is Got Our Attention Podcast. I'm here with Brian and Kelly. What's up, guys? As we try to get through this season two, episode nine, hopefully without screwing anything else up today, which will be a feat if we can. Yes. Uh, but at least for now, <laughs> Fingers crossed. we're here. How you guys doing? It's been over almost a week since last time. We skipped yesterday. We, we didn't skip, but apparently we had laundry to do. So we had to figure something out, right? <laughs> got we got some clean panties, so I'm yeah, good now. I got I got a, a good shirt. Shirts shirts nice and washed at least, yeah. I guess you could say. So I folded that. this one last night. Nice. And I don't fold it. I just put them on a hanger and put them in the closet. Why, well, why do all my t-shirts? Work? I like to fold my t-shirts. Most of my like my jeans go on a hanger. My nice pants go on a hanger. Shorts get folded. Nice shirts get folded. Um, tank tops. If it's like t-shirt material, it gets folded. If it's nice, it gets hung. Yeah, none of that goes straight on a mm-hmm. hanger. I don't. I don't deal with that. The only thing that goes in the drawer, <laughs> are like underwear, the socks, the jeans. We'll fold them. All the shirts, all on the hangers. Really, it's just easier. Well, we have like so many hangers in our house. We need to keep buying more hangers because we don't <laughs> get more shirts. We like buy more hangers. So. How do you fold your socks? Do you fold them like uh, I line them up inside of and each then other? I just okay, fold them up and roll them like into each other, like uh, like completely into each other, like 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 yeah, like I like yeah, yeah. I, like like, I don't have anything hanging out. out. It's it's all oh, it's pouch folded. pouch style. Okay. Yeah, there's no. Yeah. Uh, there's no excess. Uh, we're saying a lot of stuff. What about you, Brian? Do you do any of this stuff? Or are you a robot? You just don't do laundry? But... <laughs> no, actually, I am the one who does laundry. And uh, <laughs> no, most of our socks are uh, uh, the the no show or the quarter crew at most. So yeah. when they're folded, they're always in a little ball because yeah. there's not much to left over to flap anyway. <clears throat> That's what he said. And. <laughs> I won't make a comment. What about your shirts, though? What about your T-shirts? Are you hanging them up or are you, are you packing them in a, a drawer? Uh, neither. OK. <laughs> My T-shirts are folded, but they almost never make it to a drawer. Oh. Uh, we have uh, in many ways, uh, the laundry room becomes uh, our closet. We have oh, these cool. two really nice divider things that all the underwear and the panties and the socks go into and you just walk in there and you you, you can see them really easy and just grab them and you walk out with what you want i'm apparently um, doing laundry wrong like this I, yeah <laughs> that this sounds is, way more convenient than having to like take everything downstairs do the laundry take everything back upstairs well, and, put it away so that's and, just we'll uh, see in our laundry rooms on the same level as our bedroom ah. so that helps and the other thing that helps yeah. too is is there's there's no fumbling around a, in a drawer in the morning making noise or turning on a light while someone else is sleeping that's yep mm-hmm. that's the, definitely um, I, yeah. I definitely can uh, appreciate that for sure yeah yeah uh, that, i can definitely and i then, use the flashlight on my phone and it's like white everything so i hit like as soon as i hit the oh, wall with goodness. the white um, it's just the whole room's lit up i mean at this point it's like you know what can i, I do i, I try then, to be slick but and the wife it's will put sweet. most of her stuff into a drawer or into the closet because the closet's mm-hmm. the other side of the bathroom. Yeah. So there's doors and you can you can manage the light that way. But uh, I, I just I go through T-shirts so often I'm I'm frequently wearing like two T-shirts a day. Like yeah. that's a very often thing. So I go through them so often that they usually don't make it out of the laundry room i fold right on the dryer he's like and then i have he's like doing laundry (laughs) taking off a shirt like i gotta get another shirt back on oh i've I've done this before i have done that before oh yeah there's there's nothing more satisfying than like it's my third being like everything is going to be clean including what i'm wearing right now and just taking it off and throw i'm like whites darks don't care it's all going in and i'm literally going to meet a life goal and get it all clean at once. I've already finished the weekend laundry. It's already done. Wow. And busy day oh, at the office. Don't have, I don't have children. I don't yeah. have children. Yeah. So Obviously, let's, let's you don't be have fair children here. Yeah. I do not yeah. have children. So it's a lot. That, it's a lot different when you have amazing. children. Yeah. It's amazing what a difference to laundry that children make. Yeah. It's yeah. it's like, it's a massive. So difference. Your, our difference but, is we but, have laundry, we do it, and then we go back upstairs, and our laundry basket is already full, already and full. we haven't already done anything since yes. we did laundry. So I don't know where it comes from, no. but I think it just like 
there's like a buff or something. It just keeps coming back and we have to like, we haven't got enough resources to like keep that down yet. So we <laughs> yeah. have to work but, on that. But to what Great Kelly analogy. was saying, I need to buy more laundry. Uh, uh, very machines, much. Yes. Even though my laundry is done for the weekend, the last thing I will do Sunday is that last load of laundry. So we come into Monday <sighs> with everything clean. Everything clean. Oh, that oh, feels so and, good. It feels and so I just, good. I just do this all the time. You people yeah. and your non having kids. <laughs> actually kelly i mean i know you get me it's oh, yeah. you actually totally get me more get than eight because you're like double than i have but, yeah well yeah, and, and i have so my kids uh go to school they just started uh to school um where they have to wear uniforms nice. and Oof. i it was just fantastic it's great it stops fights in the morning we, asked that. we were like hey uh are y'all gonna do uniforms yeah. like oh only the four-year-olds get them we're like oh come on ah. come on give it to <laughs> yeah. me come on please uh, yeah, so I I was like, this is gonna be great. So I bought like three uniforms. I was like, I'll be able to just you know do laundry midweek. It'll be fine. And I found myself. I got four, panicking. I was like, I forgot to do laundry. Oh my gosh! And then oh, now no. I'm like setting an alarm to make sure like I the put worst. the laundry washer from the washer to the dryer. I'm like, I should have just bought five freaking uniforms. Yeah, you need yes. to buy like twelve because you're yes. gonna have to go through them like like. I mean, at least when I guess when they get older, it's a little better. But like right now, yeah. like he comes back with like a new like a new clothing set that we send every mm. day because yes. they're like, oh, he had an accident. He mm. uh, pooped his pants again and it just <laughs> went everywhere. And it's like now we have to not only just take the clothes and wash mm. them, we have to like scrub them, which is a whole oh, different no. That's what thing. the heavy duty setting on the, the yeah. washer no. is for. Oh, no, I'm just I, like, throw I it literally out. Throw have the trash. Yeah. Fine. We'll I literally have an Amazon outfit. We can buy another one. I'm not going there. Eight bucks. We're fine. <laughs> we'll buy another one. I have the sanitized. We just need two Patreons and, then, hey, and we can replace we this outfit. We're fine. <laughs> I have the sanitize setting on my washer oh, nice. that actually uses not only does it take the hot water and heat it up some more, yeah. but then it even heats up the water and actually does jets of steam. Oh, wow. can you make so like it, a, you get the fancy one? Stuff. Can you make like espresso no, of that too, or is that just like? Yes, yeah, you know, if if I could, I would. Um, but yeah. unfortunately, not. I got steam in the dryer though too, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you like? I call it, the, it happens I every call, now and then. It happens that I I I. I you put something in the dryer mm. and it goes through and it and it plays its little song at the end because it plays a little yep, song. Same. You know, right. Wait, is my phone and, going off right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. No, my phone will buzz when it's the done as well because it's, it's hooked so up. Pleasant. It's hooked up to the Wi-Fi. So much but better than that. I'll <laughs> be in the middle of something. I'll be in the middle of like the game of the moment mm. and I'll be like, no, I can't leave right mm. now. And then I forget. And then I come back. I was like, oh, this laundry's been sitting in the dryer for like. Two hours. Yeah. Yep. Uh, which is which is fine for the dryer because it was already dry. It's just wrinkled now. So then I'm just like refresh setting. It does these little jets <laughs> yes. of steam and then it gets all the wrinkles out. Oh, so awesome. it's like. Yeah, I, I actually so I don't have the fancy steam setting, but I do call our dryer the round iron. Because oh when you I said get that, to that, that yes, I call your dry. I'm like, whoa, like I thought I had Wi-Fi. That was cool. But like you're like, I'm picking up the phone and calling my dryer like, yo, no. dog, like, I need you. Yeah. To, like, I need you to figure this out. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? <laughs> hey, it's Kelly. I just need you to make sure that all the clothes are yeah. dry when I go just to pick them up. Just let me know when afternoon. you're done drying and I'll come get it. When, when I come downstairs, <laughs> it'll be great. Thanks. <laughs> Can you press all yeah. of the rest of the shirts that are in there too? Thanks. <laughs> and it, would it be too much to ask to like put them on? plastic hangers instead of the wire ones <laughs> yeah really wait wire hangers who the heck has those no what, what you wire mean? hangers we still have those. they're around i mean it's like you know resources like you have to you have to still remember your old resources they're there oh man but i think i actually think the funny thing about that comment kelly is mm. if i recall correctly at the time of that movie and that line, mm -hmm. the option wasn't plastic hangers. It was wood hangers. Yes, you're right. You're right. Wood and, and wood, so, wood hangers are pretty amazing. I yeah, do they have are. to say. I, yeah. Especially if you can get like cedar. Or cherry. Yes. And then like or yes. whatever. Cedar. No, you see ce yeah, yeah, cedar yeah, yeah. because cedar, it cedar keeps the moths away. Yeah. It's a way to do there's, it. There's there's a use behind these. They the it drives away the moths so they don't eat your clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, like again, this is something that happened back in the day of wire hangers and wood hangers and stuff like that. Yeah. Not not much of a issue anymore. 
So I know uh, it's so time. So now that we've driven away 90% of our <laughs> I know. listening audience. The chat's ridiculous right now. If you guys are listening, I, I wish you yeah. would just watch the chat on, on live on Thursday or whatever today is, Friday night, wherever we do the podcast, wherever you yeah. can catch us. We're like unicorn at this yeah. point. Uh, but yeah, the chat's getting kind of racy, uh, not racy. It's getting kind of uh, risky. Uh, yeah, they're asking about OnlyFans. Apparently they want Risque. me to take off my shirt and dance around. Apparently, yes, I told them a thousand. No one, no one wants <laughs> to see you take your shirt. A thousand dollars. Kelly said three Patreons. I'm like, ah, yeah, it's kind of even. I mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Oh, man. No, it's not. Pretty even. much. Cool. Hey, uh, it's time for Kelly's Corner. Except for Mud Bunny. Oh, heck yeah. What's up, guys? All right. Uh, so this week in Kelly's Corner, we've got three amazing articles for you. Uh, the first one is about. Uh, oh, hold on. I didn't do my dance. <laughs> OK, <laughs> the, the look of trepidation on your face when that started, you're like, oh, am I doing it right? It's your dance, <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Jesus, um, you were, you looked so nervous when that started. I don't even know why. Hang um, tight for just a second. Let me see how terrible this will do. Hey, there we go. There you like go. A, you know, the transition and everything. I figured out why this wasn't working earlier. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh. So uh, a Waffle House patron. Um, uh, or not Waffle House. Uh, sorry. Clearly, I'm hungry, too. <laughs> hungry yeah, and drinking. Right. Um, yeah. And By I the way, hop, get your drinking game out if you haven't played. Yeah. Uh, an IHOP um, patron walked into an IHOP and uh, created a um, video, uh, a TikTok of nobody being there. Apparently, everybody at IHOP just dipped out mid shift. Like everybody was like, deuces, I'm done. You can see him walking around and recording and there's like food everywhere. Stuff still going. Uh, he continues to walk around, walks into somebody's office and he's like, like the computer's still on. Definitely a PCI violation. That computer should have been locked. Should have been locked. A lot of I mean, trouble. what are these people thinking? Yes. Savages. Uh, yeah. Gonna walk out. Lock your computer. What are you thinking? Control all delete, man. Um, and uh, a, a customer actually calls and he's like, hey, man, like nobody's here. And he's like, you're answering the phone. Like the, just a lot of confusion. He's like, yeah, like I, I, I'm i just a customer, too. And he's like, like I don't oh. work here. yeah. And then finally, like the manager walks in, he's like, why are you in my office? <laughs> it's a <pretty> that dude <laughs> yeah. did not look like the manager. <laughs> he he looked not. like another person that had the munchies. He yes. was trying to play it off that somebody else was there. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, get out of here. I want to make some hash browns. Yeah. 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 Hash, hash browns. browns. Yeah. He's about to For take sure. all the money out of the safe. It's fine. Yeah. That's Great. exactly what's going to happen. Um, not that we're accusing anybody of stealing. This is a joke. No. Uh, no. But, uh, I mean, so the place he was wide open. I mean, I was not. <laughs> Yes. I would not think that there's not going to be people thinking like we can rob the place. Like it's that's easy. true. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, so the guy uh, kind of starts walking out and sees a couple of guys just sitting there waiting to be seated. And they're like, hey, can, can we get a table? He's like, how many? You have? It's like, oh two. he's God. like, hey, hey, dude, hey, dude, they've got two. Can you help them out? Yeah. And eventually walks out. So if you haven't but seen the I TikTok video, it's hysterical. To be honest, that was the best part of yeah. the whole thing. I mean, the guy's like walking around. He's like, hey, look, there's no one in the kitchen. Like, they burn them hash browns. Mm. And he's like looking at all yeah. this stuff. And, <laughs> and, he, and he's like talking on the phone. He goes, yeah, these these uh, these effers all left the mother yeah. effing place. And they're like, <laughs> he's like, I'm about to start grabbing me some bacon. And like, there was, yeah. It was funny. <laughs> it was good. It was That's really good. That's not the good. first thing that I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, ain't nobody here. I need to go grab some bacon. <laughs> grab some bacon. Like, seriously. Get, and he filmed like where it was oh like God. where that's, they were like frying bacon for. up or at least. Uh, and, and he's like, no, I'm not messing with you. And yeah. he's like, he, he was like having this whole conversation with the, the customer. The fake manager walks in, and dude, the, that guy was not a manager. Yeah. I if mean, he, either that well, or he was, was a manager shift. and came it was because everybody else had left. <laughs> Like it was like his day off. Maybe. He was like, I wasn't even supposed to be here today. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he just kind of <laughs> had to like show up because I mean, well, it's your store. You have the yeah. keys to lock the door in case yeah. like anybody else wants to come in. And, you know, you have to kind of. Hey, it was <laughs> oh it was God. really funny. 
Yeah, yeah it was amazing. The, and again, the best part is like, well, how many people do you have? Three, two. Okay, yeah, he'll take care of you. And he <laughs> just walks right. out the door. He's like, they got two. Yeah. Can you see two? <laughs> It's Good funny, job. I've also done this before, except I never, uh, the restaurant wasn't empty and I I had probably been drinking. Mm. Probably? No. Yeah, I'm not, no, saying, that, not, I'm not saying that I haven't not, washed not, dishes in a, in a restaurant that I didn't work at. I'm not saying that that's not a thing. Or <laughs> go into the kitchen to yeah. get this is a story. to go boxes, yeah, to go boxes and then go behind the bar to oh, show them how to make that, a drink. I, definitely I mean, I don't need to waste their time. I mean, they're they're busy. They're doing their thing. I'll just go grab my own box and, you know, talk to the yeah. cook and have them throw extra stuff in there. Whatever. No matter. I need a little topper on my cocktail. It doesn't happen. Before. I'll go behind the bar. That's also not not unheard of yeah. for me. Yeah. So <laughs> I just need another, another two more Luxardo yeah. cherries, if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Flip yeah. the bottle upside down. You're good. Yeah. Uh, there's reasons why you are banned from places, yeah. especially when you've been drinking. Yes, that's that is a real story. That is a real and, a real law for me. And, and not yes. even you're not even banned from those places by those places. No. You're banned from those places mm. by your wife and friends. And friends, yeah, yeah. and not just the wife because don't make it. Don't, it's not that. It's the it's really all the people. The people <laughs> who the really people. care about you. The and people who don't also want to go to jail is mainly. What yes. It is. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that, I that that dude, I have no clue who that guy is. I think I saw him on well, OnlyFans. Like, like, yeah, I don't know who that guy is either. Like, <laughs> that guy is weird. Like, weirdo. Like, know, driver, you know, I think. lady. <laughs> I, I mean, this is a common name. Yes, it's not like I'm married to the guy. Right. That is true. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. Uh, what else you got? All right. So uh, a researcher was uh, using one of those mechanical submarines uh, doing some research um, and ran into. What else would you be doing with a little submarine? <laughs> hanging out? Playing? I don't know. Hey, do you guys want to come over this weekend and just hang out? We can just uh, pull out the submarine, if, you know? Yeah. Hang out with it, check that's out. what I would do. I mean, that actually sounds like fun. Phoenix, you with me? <laughs> He'll come Probably. over and hang out. <laughs> um, and actually found a real life SpongeBob square pants and Patrick. So it's a square yellow oh sponge God. and a pink sea star. Uh, they said in, in real life, like it, not in real life, it, it, typically these two don't even actually get along. So they're they usually aren't even seen together. Um, <laughs> but uh, they're because, not going to the prom is what you're telling me. Yeah, I mean. they're, they're like enemies. Yeah, they don't they don't actually get along. Uh, but it, it's actually a really, really cute video, too. This is an NPR article. So uh, if you can check that one out, that was, we would you, play the video. But as like Phoenix mm. had mentioned like a week or so ago, there's actually a phobia of like like the yeah. holes and things like the Trypophobia. Trypophobia. Yeah. So we don't want to like play that and in, 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 in intentionally like freak you guys out. So we um, could blur we, it because yeah. like <laughs> 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 Like uh, that's so be weird because you cool. see the sponge and in many ways it is <clears throat> a yellow sponge. Yeah. Yeah. Like it but actually in other looks ways fake it's initially. Yeah, because in other ways it doesn't look because since it's mm. still a live sponge, it's still like you know, not dry looking. Uh, yeah, sure, it's under yeah. the water. I get you. I know, <laughs> but you put a sponge under the water, it doesn't look like this, trust yeah. me. This this thing looks like it's still alive and and but but then having the holes in it, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, there was a couple of triggers on that. Yeah, there are. If you watch the video, if you do, if you're not concerned, um, definitely watch the video. You see, because at first I was like, "Be sure that's not like trash," <laughs> but it's definitely uh, a sponge. You can actually see several other sponges, several other SpongeBob's. There's a starfish too. Yeah. The, the Patrick, Patrick, the, the pink starfish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Patrick, the... All right. Have you did you never watch? Did you, no. That was your generation. I, like. I didn't Spongebob watch. Spongebob Squarepants? I didn't watch Spongebob. OK. Spongebob that was actually, and Patrick. That was Patrick. past my generation. That was that was beyond me. OK. Well, sorry about that. Yeah. So there's, anybody, there's anybody in why... chat. Got my back I'm not as young one. as anybody you think in I chat. am. Mud butt. Come there's on. There's a reason why the story <laughs> is in here, Kelly's buddy. corner. <laughs> Because uh, both of us are going, 
Uh, ooh, yeah. I know. I've heard of SpongeBob SquarePants. I mean, I oh, never mind. I never watched SpongeBob, but I, I at least culturally, I I understand it and appreciate it. So. Yeah, I, I understand Squidward is another thing in there. I don't too, even know if I've ever actually yeah, watched much. an episode of SpongeBob. Like, eh, no, nope, I don't even know if I can I actually have. say I that. Have. Like, I don't I don't yeah. think I can. It wasn't my but like, I, like, thing, but I've definitely seen it. I, maybe I should have definitely that or something. I mean, watch it on, you know, the proper waves or whatever. I don't know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, and definitely like all, the, <laughs> all the tropes that we know from it. Walmart or something. It's like five minutes later. Yes. Oh, that's yes. what that's from. I thought that was yes. like yeah. completely different. Oh, no, okay. no, th- no, that's I've uh, been quoting the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, that's Monty Python. Ah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. But and they now, did it, for, they... now for something completely different. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now for something completely different. The Bishop. Oh, oh my. The only Sorry. Monty Python that I actually liked was the stuff that wasn't the, the it was the short skits they did rather than like the long format stuff like. The hot limo, holy yeah. grail. I just, I don't know. It never really got to me. But you like, don't. Oh, do not. Uh, do not say anything I'm not saying bad. It, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I just didn't get into it. But like okay. there was an episode or like a, a skit where they were like in a, in a um, animal shop and there was like a bird and like he was trying to sell him the bird and like the bird was like dead. And it was just like this whole <laughs> thing like that. That was great. I enjoyed that. But like, yes. I don't know. Holy grail just never got into. But I guess uh, check it out now. I was, I was young when I tried to check it out. Everybody's like, oh, the also, I love it great. as an update chat does not have your back because Nobody runner does. diva also said me neither i haven't watched Sp- yeah. spongebob squarepants <sighs> maybe it's because you have like Man. kids or something i'll just blame it on the kids i, I know the kids aren't even old enough for that but we'll just say it was, I, it I mean worse. i saw it before my kids so yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no whatever <sighs> I, I mean give me scooby-doo any day of the week <sighs> <sighs> Scooby-Doo is great so oh, did man. you guys see any of the olympics i have not actually I'm a terrible uh, well, person. It's I'm over, a terrible so American. You, you I missed should probably out. do that. Yeah, it's 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 over. So don't try to watch it now. Um, I guess you can like YouTube. Appar- or whatever. Apparently, the if you just took the U.S. women alone, they uh, would have counted as the fourth largest country for mm. gold medals. Yes, is wow. what I heard. Hey, rock on. Yes. Um, so if you didn't watch any of the Olympics, I'm going to go ahead and uh, assume you didn't watch any of uh, the equestrian events as part of process of elimination. <laughs> oh, did you? Oddly enough, I actually did watch about 20 minutes. Of really? So horses jumping over things. Did horses you catch so, as part of the as part of any Olympics? You know, every there there are decorations and you know, flashy lights in every different event, right? Well, the decorations as part of uh, the sides of these obstacles in the equestrian event um, were different, like, you know, Japanese type things. One of which was they a sumo a- wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they Like pagodas and stuff like that. But one of them was a sumo wrestler who was arms spread wide, bending down. Uh, it was the 10th I mean, obstacle Makes 14th sense. jump uh and the horses could see their butt and it looked very realistic and some of the horses were actually getting startled and some of the riders were getting frustrated with it uh so they, they feel that maybe some of the horses didn't do as well as they typically would because they were spooked by this um did you no, see that dude <laughs> yeah, <wow. laughs> you know when you come around a turn you don't expect to see a guy's butt <laughs> i mean i would have been freaked out i too. mean i do <laughs> yeah like i mean <laughs> I, I live in the south that's that's an everyday occurrence it is. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> especially uh, when the when we where i live where it's like the north foothills and chickens mm. running all over the damn place that's very true well, you if, think if plumbers you crack see, is bad. D- yeah, my my. So my he would admit this probably with pride. My husband has the best plumbers crack. Anytime he tried to tries to do something to the point where my kids like our friends, it's a a joke. My kids, it's now a joke. And then one of my daughters bent over the other day and did the same thing. I was like, stop. You were taking after your father way too much. <laughs> Invite me over. I want to see this. Oh, oh I his his. I've got a picture for you, sir. I've got a oh, picture man. for you. <laughs> I'll post it on Instagram. 
<laughs> oh yes, I will totally do that. <laughs> like a smiley face over his like face. Oh right? no. Yeah, I'll, we sh- I'll, I'll we, definitely we should do, just do it. A, He's proud of it, so he doesn't care. We yeah. should just do a group picture of the four of us with plumbers crack. Right? Yeah, <laughs> like you, you decide. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> who, who is who? Guess that'll what, be, guys? That'll be hard. He's Photo like, shoot he's, scheduled. <laughs> I mean, mine. Yes. That'll be easy. I mean, it's you know, yeah. be a fetish for someone out there. Yeah, probably, definitely, surely. I, it's rule 34. Everything That's is a fetish yeah, somewhere for someone. Well, hey, let's, uh, let's I get like into the news. Pencil eraser heads is a fetish for someone out there. Yep. Oh. I, that's I, that's got to be a rule thirty four. I and, for and sure. Believe me, I do not want to look that one up. I don't want. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Let's get into probably, the news. They'd, they'd probably combine it with the the uh, trypophobia. Sounds so official. I know Mike had to cue me up twice there because I wasn't yeah. listening. Live oh, he's, from... yes, he's got the papers. <laughs> Friday night, coming from the SAS Gaming Studio. Oh, man. Uh, I just literally uh, just pulled this paper out of my rear end. Um, ass? Well, so, yeah. it's anyway. very clean. You have a very clean rear that end. That was spot on. Uh, so, no, actually talking some streaks about in it, some not so... This isn't, like, too crazy. I mean, to think about it is probably duh, right? Um, mm. But so there was some article that came out. Uh, this is a Game World Observer um, article. And it talks about uh, titles Amazon's draconic rules for creating your own game spark heated debate among developers. And the what happened was a, a twi- uh, tweet came out from James Liu. It's at James 7132 uh, and basically said back in 2018, I got offered a software development engineering job at Amazon. I was ready to accept it. Uh, except the offer too, pretty paid pretty well, uh, but I had to turn it down to the absolutely draconic rules regarding hobbyist game development. And he said all this because the Amazon Game Studio is grossly incompetent. Uh, so we they they kind of interviewed some other people about you know working at Amazon and things like that. And and the whole idea was that uh, if working at Amazon, being a game developer, if you wanted to create something on your own time, so like for example, you have a, a neat little idea of making like a little platformer game or something just to kind of do in your own spare time like you had to still incorporate amazon into that like you had to give the developer mm-hmm. um like royalty free for the developer you had to do a paid licensing for free uh they have to own all the intellectual property for the game um and like all of that before like you even get to do anything with the game so like you if you're going to put it on different platforms it has to be on their platform it can't be like exclusive to something else um so it was like a pretty heated, like, you know, discussion that people were having. Like, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. And and it was interesting because a lot of other people started coming out and uh, and agreeing with him. Like, oh, man, like, that's funny. You think that's a good thing? Like this guy, uh, it's at uh, Ian Ipoos, I guess. I N I P O S. I hope he does. Yeah, he says uh, he says Poor Ooh. Guy. he's like, oh, we're, we're doing draconic contract stuff. Instantly shut down the 2K recruiter after reading this bad boy. And it's a section of like actual law like the actual uh, contract where it just states like you know you in a nutshell you everything we do everything you do is going to be owned by us and like that's just it mm-hmm. and uh so yeah people were like yeah i can totally see that i can't believe that they're doing this blah 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 uh and then finally some people started coming out going well that's not too crazy like i i accepted mm-hmm. a contract at you know this company triple a dev and like that's like a no brainer. Like, obviously yeah. if, I, if I'm working on anything, I don't have time to work on my own stuff anyway. Like I'm working on whatever triple a game I'm working on or, you know, yeah, there's called a non-compete clause. Like that's in our, like, did you read your contract? Like, is that something you're familiar with? Yeah. So it was kind of on both sides, like in, in the, an example of like this scenario where like Amazon's being shattered, like, Oh my God, they're being crazy. But at the same time, like that's not, too uncommon for game developers and you know in the lieu of well, all the other stuff recently like we're starting to see that from AAA, like all the other things that come with this but i mean i don't know it's not too crazy it, 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 like, well, we I mean, it's, stuff that says it, everything you send through your work email is property of yeah. the company that's like again a no-brainer oh so if i send my, an email to my wife then you, yeah they own that <laughs> yeah. like yeah, it's a that company has to protect themselves as well. Exactly. Right. 
Uh, the interesting thing is like a lot, a lot of the people that were talking about it too weren't developers. They were, they were people that might want to on their own time, like try to break into game development. Mm. So they're working on their own game at home and it still covered a lot of that stuff, which is where some, of, but again, all the companies were having some of this. Uh, one guy was talking about like Activision Blizzard gets first refusal on anything you develop whilst you work for them. Not yeah. anything you develop at work. Yeah. Anything, anything. you develop. Yep. You know, um, and well, th uh, there was there was interesting things, too, with that Amazon one where it was like uh, you could develop your own game, but you have to publish it through Amazon games. Yeah. Uh, well, and that's and I don't know. It's not even that crazy, because even if you think about it, like not saying like where I work at currently, like that company, like if I were to do something in the realm of what my company does, then, yeah, yeah I can totally expect if I go back and read through the contracts that I had to sign that they're going to own any of that or I'm actually not even own it. They're going to say you can't do that. Like that's yeah. really, yeah. non-compete is usually the first one that hits you. It's not that if you do, we'll get a So it's not uncommon. Like this isn't just a, a game development world thing. Like this is it's not trying to hold game developers down. It's just like you like Kelly said, they're trying to hold their property. They want to make sure that they're protecting themselves because that's really the bottom line. They don't care about yeah. you. They care about the property mm. of their company. Like that's what they're looking for. Yeah. Well, and and their investment because. Yeah. Yep. You're thinking of those things and you're learning the mm -hmm. development while you're there. If you're a developer, yeah. uh, you know, and they they paid for a lot of this learning. They yeah. they a lot of that you know, training when, when you're education. spending, especially some of these developers that are spending 60, 70, 80 hours a week mm -hmm. working on mm -hmm. a triple A title. Well, if you think of an idea, chances are you thought of it during work time. Yeah. yeah. Once well, again, a good thing too is like imagine going uh you're an accountant right like you work at this company you're an accountant but you actually can code a little bit on your own time but you just do that yourself you go in the break room there's a game developer there and they're like like in the break room passing they're like man we just developed this new technology this new thought of like the way we do things and it's just like this would be a cool yep. idea right and you're like yeah dude cool you go home you develop that you publish it and now you know yeah they're like yeah. what the heck so it's yeah I get it. It's it's unfortunate mm. that I guess some of this is like as as strict as it has to be. But it's not just Amazon. It's it's every it's like you said, them. it's every triple. Yeah. I mean, and I'm not even saying triple A games is. only. It can definitely be independent studios as well that do yeah. this. I mean, this is not uncommon um, from, yeah. from anyone the, with a good lawyer crowd out there. Yeah, get a good lawyer. <laughs> Yeah, with all with all all the money that you have, make, just make sure you have. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> but there, but there are companies like like I think Legal Club or something. Yeah. I think is one of them. But mm. like you can do that, and you can like actually anything you're doing, any sort of like anything that has to do with contracts, you can send it to them, and they'll just yeah. like review it and give you the thoughts and like, yeah, it's probably not a good idea, or yeah, it's great, no problem, yeah. you know. So just I mean, it's funny because yeah. like I remember there was a contract that uh, a lease that I was going to sign uh, at a, a location where I was better live. And um, the place was great. We loved the place. It was, a, it was a duplex, but it was like top and bottom duplex. So like the neighbors would have been above us or below us, I think. And they had a nice backyard and everything. And I was like ready to like do the deal. And the guy was like, yeah, I'm a, it's my place, but like I, I'm a kind of a lawyer too. So like, I don't, I'm not going to get a contract with anybody else. It's just going to be my contract. So I was like, okay, cool. No problems. So I got it. And I read over it and I was like, this part about like the lease terms, like if I were to break my lease, I owe him full like the 24 months that I live there, like even if I don't live there. And I was like, that doesn't I mean, it was all like very like, you know, yeah. lawyer speak, like everything was very like uh -huh. if ands and if only behalf. And and I'm like. That reads to me that if I were to break my lease for any reason, even like force majeure, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like I have yes, to owe him yes, two yes. years of rent. Um, so I actually brought it to my current work at that or that time, my current work. And I, I brought it to our legal person. And I was like, hey. Read like you read contracts all day. Like, what yeah. do you think about this contract? Like, if you just read this over, what would you do? And he was like, Pfft. I would move on. And I was like, appreciate it. <laughs> <Done>. <laughs> that was it. And we were done. Thank he's you like, and he, very much for he hit me up for probably over two weeks trying to get me to sign that. And I'm like, dude, I'm not doing it. I'm just not mm -hmm. going to do it. It's not going to happen. I'm not an idiot. Yeah. yeah. Like, sorry. Dude. I'm, I'm sure you're a I'm great not, guy. Most of not stupid. Yeah. Not going to happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. sure you're a great guy. I mean, like, Except like the way you wrote that contract, 
you sound like the devil. Right. So I mean, like literally, like what if the neighbors downstairs yeah. decide to have like a fucking <laughs> meth? Excuse my f bomb nine thirty seven. Uh, <laughs> a meth studio down below me and decide to, you know, blow up my house. Yeah. And yeah. luckily, I'm not home yeah. because I decided to take the weekend off. But yet, my house is gone, and now mm. I have to pay him two years of rent for no reason. Yeah. Like, yeah. get out of here! No, I'm not doing that. Get out of here. So, forget. <laughs> Crack me up like that time code <laughs> meant anything. You're welcome. It means nothing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it, it doesn't help at all. <laughs> does it at all? Okay. <laughs> just in case the people were listening and they they heard that and they would know. So yeah. We're just I don't you, even know what you were talking. We're like 40 some odd minutes into this. It's 39 like, minutes. 37. Like it, it's 30, 45 37 seconds. But, yeah. like but, you know, something like that. Anyway, oh, I, yeah. I thought that was an interesting story. Uh, but at the same time, again, like it's it's something to talk about. Sure. But it's it's not unheard of um, in this sense. No. Yeah. Call of Duty Black Ops War has added as of yesterday an additional game mode called Double Agent. Bum, bum, bum. This is the yeah, dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> can we get a sound effect added in there? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, it's the, is better than that. <laughs> I, I come with my own sound effects when I we drive to school. No, I was blaming girls. Mike. Cause. Yeah, I go when I take turns sometimes and the girls are like, ha ha. I have my own little. So audience. you're a foley artist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go, 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 my coconuts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not those coconuts. I, Get your eyes out of the gutter. I did not say anything. <laughs> oh, no. I, I did think yeah. it. No, I know you weren't. I know you weren't. Anybody. No, was. I thought it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it's basically the Among Us of like mode it's a, a de deception style mode it's got 10 players those it's a mix of people um being assigned random roles and the random roles they are operatives and they need to discover the double agents and so there are two double agents the double agents are supposed to like uh plant bombs detonate bombs and the the map and uh eliminate players and then there's an investigator and the investigator gives some clues um, to the about where the double agents are, who the double agents might be. And they create like wanted they call them wanted orders, wanted posters. A, you know, um, it is also going to be very heavily chat reliant, uh, which uh, is kind of uh, among us had like they were like, uh, it, it's it is very heavily like. This person is sus and uh, orange, orange, it's orange. So um, uh, chat reliant or verbally reliant. Uh, uh, but like I was saying, you're trying to identify who's suspect. I think it sounds pretty cool, except. <laughs> well, I no, I except before the except. Okay, yeah. except. Uh, <laughs> I'll say the except. Except I don't think it's going to be that uh, cool. <laughs> Well, well, there's two accepts then. <laughs> as usual, the trailer yeah. looks fantastic. I mean, it looks really yeah. good. Like it looks, yeah, the trailer it looks, looks so good, good that I thought it was actually a movie like trailer. Yes. Like actual and, people. And that's the problem too, is because while they had some gameplay clips in there, they absolutely had cutscene clips that looked great, but I was like, Yeah, but you don't play a game that way. You don't, you don't play a game where the one person whips out a gun and then they block yeah. them and they like force the gun to go to the ground. And so they the other person whips out a gun with their other hand and then they block that and they grab the gun, turn around, shoot the person like like that's a great movie. That's yeah. a great cutscene. Yeah, that's not gameplay. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't know. It, it looks like it'll be fun for the Call of Duty players. Yeah, I mean, the reason why I say I'm like, I think the trailer looks good because, yeah, it looks like a movie. Like it was shot and obviously cinematic like a movie, but the way that Among Us works well and the reason why Among Us is working so well is that it takes on the same role of like playing a werewolf style game in real life, like having that one trader available or trader available and then potentially a seer who in this case would be like their investigator. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then mm -hmm. having that group where you have a phase, you do something and then there's a time where we have to debate and we have to like figure out who the person is and, and decide as a group, like 
Somebody's got to go. Well, who is it? Unless they do that type of and, and the way the trailer showed it seemed very much like we're going in, we're shooting and things are happening and just everything's happening. Mm-hmm. And there's no way to like slow it down and let the, the you know the suspense build to make it a thing um, for that to happen. So I'm like, I don't know how they're going to do that and how it's going to work out. I'm sure it'll be fun. It'll be another mode like anything else they have because they're usually pretty successful when it comes to the different game modes. But mm-hmm. is it going to be among us? I don't I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be either. Yeah. Among a style. Sure. I don't think it's going to be. Among yeah. Us. But I think God. they're trying to they're trying to capitalize on the Among Us style game, yeah. which is very intriguing. A lot of fun to play. Quick gameplay. And you immediately want to do it again. Yeah. I mean, and that's the so. same thing that happened with the whole like battle royale. Everybody had to have a battle royale, mm. you know, and Call of Duty got yeah. on that train, too. And it's like then you had to have like everything else. Now it's like, oh, the trader games, we got to have those, too. So I mean, they're going to capitalize on or, it. You know, I get that. 30 different phasmophobia games yeah, now. Yes, 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 yes. I'll have some news for that later, uh, I'll mention. But um, but yeah, so in the other sense of like, but, you know, this is an Activision Blizzard game. And and right mm. now, Activision Blizzard's in the news. And obviously, they're trying to do things to make themselves look a little better and not worry about the other stuff. You know, the other stuff like the uh, uh, breaking news this week is develop uh, the develop- so the Diablo 4 game director, uh, Luis uh Barrage, I think it is, or Bariga, I think it is, maybe. Uh, lead designer Jesse McCree and World of Warcraft designer Jonathan LeCraft were let go from Blizzard on Wednesday, uh, per two sources uh, that, that told Kotaku at this time. Um, they actually updated this, and uh, they actually got a spokesperson from Activision Blizzard, confirmed the departure within an email. It says, we can confirm Luis Bariga and Jesse McCree and Jonathan LeCraft are no longer with the company. Uh, we have a deep, talent, talented roster uh, of developers already in place, and new leaders have been assigned with when or rare appropriate. We are confident in the ability to continue progress to deliver amazing experiences to our players and move forward to ensure safe, productive work environment for all. So, you know, as we know, Jesse McCree was one of the characters from Overwatch that they actually had. Like, McCree was one of those characters they actually named after the developer. And they had talked about already renaming him uh, previously in a few weeks, um, this last couple of weeks. And then now we're seeing that they, he was actually let go along with a few others from Diablo 4 and also World of Warcraft. So uh, this is definitely a bigger scoped thing than most people. Uh, well, at least that Blizzard let on initially like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, these are all these speculations. We're going to investigate. But now it's kind of like, well, we're investigating. Uh, these people aren't going to work here anymore uh, because they're being we, I think you know, the public and the other employees have really finally forced their hand they've, yeah. they've, we, they've been trying 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 we've seen no progress and now finally something yeah and to be clear they activision blizzard has not come out and said this is why they were let go they just yeah. said they were let go so it yeah. wasn't you know, yeah they're not going to point blame they're not going to tell us anything well no it's it's not that they're not going to point blame they can't say anything True. because otherwise then they're still liable mm-hmm. for some of the things that got that happened and they got covered up regardless of whether they let the person people go if they s- admit anything then it makes the case against them all that much more difficult that's very, true. very point good point um so very interesting on that too uh obviously we'll see more as this whole thing just kind of like completely starts falling apart um which you know as Muren said was the way it should have been like he's he's been figuring this out for years now it's it's i'm glad that it's coming to a head and and i'm you know any any development or any sort of company that you work for and this stuff's happening it's not right i mean it, it should come to a head you should i'm not saying you have to be the whistleblower but like don't stand up for you know crap like do something about it so yeah, yeah good news on that uh switching gears and actually to music so If you're familiar with uh, Guitar Hero and the company Harmonix or Mm -hmm. any sort of, uh, you know, game to that nature um, or even Left 4 Dead, which I know would be like, what? Left 4 Dead. Uh, So there's a new game coming called, well, game music app developer app. Uh, It's called Tonestone. And what the app is designed to do is make making music a lot easier. So it's created by the same people who worked on Guitar Hero and Left 4 Dead. Uh, they actually announced it. Uh, it was today as of, I think, yesterday, August 12th. Yeah, so yesterday. 
And the idea is, and, I, and I've watched, it's in closed beta right now. I've watched the videos of like how the product works and it's very similar to like uh, a rock band. Another one is the other game. Uh, very similar to the way that Guitar Hero and Rock Band work, where you see like the path of the like the fretboard essentially and like coming down mm -hmm. and you can kind of like click the buttons. The difference here is they're actually laying out the track. So uh, if you're familiar with music software, usually when you make beats, uh, it's it's all based on loops, based on like a time signature of like four mm -hmm. four, for example. So beats, one, those are those things. Those are those. Yeah. Ear, those so headphones. like one yeah. beat <laughs> for every second for four seconds consecutively, which is like one, you know, set of time. Um, so four out of four. So you make different loops based on the time signature that you have and you, you know, add in different things and different soundtracks or uh, different little sound effects. And you can like create the, the pitches to make them differently and, you know, different things like that. And and this is not new, like doing all of this in the music world is not new. There's been company like uh, Fruity Loops is one of those um, that you could do. Uh, there's been uh, Logic Pro in the past, which I used to use in the past. Uh, there's uh, a lot of other companies uh, actually making their own software now. So I have like a, a MIDI controller, which is basically a mini key, like keyboard and piano. Um, it has a little like a little uh, pad on it, like a drum pad. Um, but they make their own software. You can like make beats out of just like to make things easier for people. Um, so this isn't a new thing. But what was new about this is that since these are the makers of like, you know, really like acclaimed music games um, is they made it more a game than the normal wow. just music app. So it's very friendly, user friendly for the person to be able to pick this up and just start working with it. Um, and it's very easy in the sense of like uh, the UI is very easy. You click and drag and it does have that same similar track like the like the guitar fret. Like you actually see where you drop things. Uh, it comes with preloaded sounds and things like so you can like actually uh, figure out what you want and kind of just play with whatever music you want. And the other aspect of it is is it's supposed to be designed to be social. So there is an export button that you can actually export the MP3 uh, directly to your desktop or whatever. Uh, or you can upload it straight to the Discord server that they have where everybody's sharing the same, like they're all music. So you can mm -hmm. share it to them. Other people oh, can vote cool. on it because of Discord. They can, you know, thumbs up you. They can re reply and give yeah. you, you know, feedback. feedback. Um, so all of that's really cool. And, uh, and it, it just seemed, it kind of caught my eye because I'm like watching this going as like a musician. And I'm like, you know, it, I've, I personally have been doing music for a long time. So I, I get how to use some of these complex programs. I'm using Reaper now to like do music, uh, which is way cheaper than using like, Pro Tools or anything like that, which I mean, as as a musician Next on podcast, a budget, Mike's going to be playing. Yeah, on a on podcast on a budget, <laughs> Check like out my new track. using <laughs> using Reaper is way cheaper. It's like sixty dollars if you want to if you even want to spend the money on the license, right? Because they like basically let you do things for even cheaper. Um, but yeah, it's it's it, this is a great opportunity to have people uh, kind of get involved. And the point of it is, like they said, is you know gamers like the way that people learn best is like video games. Because like you can learn something in a video mm -hmm. game, whether it's a puzzle or whatever, pretty quickly. And you can kind of show people mm -hmm. how to do that. So the same concept applies here is having a platform where you can actually have music things involved, where you can teach people how to do things. And one of the, the parts of this is actually like a, a quest sort of scenario where you can oh, actually wow. build. It actually teaches you how to build tracks. It's just like, hey, let's check out this track. We're going to learn how to do a uh, a four four beat with a bass drop or something and like you do that one and then it shows you how to lay out the tracks to make that work um so it has a very basic functionality of like just learning how to get into music uh songwriting and things um but it says it's also got like an advanced mode where you can go through and actually add in all of the advanced features that like you would see in most programs like adding in your own sound uh, clips hmm. adding in your own live instruments and things like that so uh, pretty neat. I, I would say it, it's definitely like I said, it's in beta right now. It's it's closed beta. You can't get it unless you sign up and potentially get in. Um, but it's called Tone Stone. I would check it out uh, online. You can check out the YouTube. Uh, there are a couple of different videos of like how it works. Um, but it's it's been, it looks really great. I mean, knowing the, what I know now, if I had this opportunity in the past, like this would be something I would definitely want to check out. Uh, and I probably will check this out. I'm probably going to look into this and see what I can do <laughs> about getting a hold of the beta. So. Um, for those music people who are listening, that's that's my two cents on this. Well, speaking of checking things out, I said last week that I was going to check something out with an open mind, uh, being things that I wasn't too terribly interested in, but it 
overlapped with our sphere of interest of gaming so much that I was like, okay, I got to check this out. And that was very much attending a concert in Fortnite. And yeah, you said Fortnite in case you like lost your Fortnite. mind. Right there, like, <laughs> well, no, I mean, we did mention it last we week and I said I was going to check it out. And they've had concerts before in Fortnite. They've had a uh, I think they've even had like parts of movie showings or something like that. They, they've had a couple of things that they've done. It's so I. Didn't attend the first one. And I was because uh, I just was out at dinner. I totally forgot the time and everything. And I was like, OK, I'm going to do the second one. And I like posted on our discord. Hey, you know, I'm going to be here. And then next thing I know, Zeissy is like. Darn it. Now you got me installing the Fortnite forever because <laughs> I, and I because sound just like I'm that because I I'm literally am actually a grandpa about well, yes. Fortnite thing. He was he was not happy and I had installed it early so I could show up. So I, and then I also did the normal thing where I went in early so I could figure out where I needed to go. And I was like, well, since I'm here, I'm going to play a game. And I was like, what the heck? My very first game, I get a victory royale. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. They have you play against bots. But <laughs> we'll talk about that later. So because of that, Mike is like, it's literally five minutes before the concert starts, like literally five, it was seven to five minutes. And Mike's like, bro, bro, how do I like? And I was like, wait, you're going to see this, too. I was like, let me leave my party and then we'll join up to each other party. And he goes, wow, that was really easy to connect yeah. to and get into your party. Well, one thing that I, I said, OK, usually for just to be clear, usually there's like a no mics allowed. No, 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 no. This mic allowed. Um, I won't use your last name. And I think we may have used it before. Uh, it's all parties. And, you know, well, uh, so one this thing, is interesting that it was easy for you to sneak into a party. So it was one of the things <laughs> well, where like I even five minutes till I was like, because what I was told was there's a virtual concert that we're going to attend for yeah. Ariana Grande. And I'm like, OK, whatever. So I'm like thinking about Fortnite, the way that I've seen the game and the open world. And I'm thinking like, all right, so we're going to spawn in and I'm probably going to want to get close to the front. I want to get as close to the front. He's literally thinking to the stage. It's like concert a, it's a concert. Here. Yeah, yeah. I, it's a, because yeah, he, I, he hasn't seen yeah, the news. My, the previous my idea ones. is a concert stage. Like a physical that was large my, stage. That was wh- how I performer thought Performer dancing, too. singing, obviously not really there, but doing the thing that's yeah. set up. And we're in the state, we're in the that's crowd, and we're kind of like probably throwing around aliens and flamingos and stuff, because like that's what people do at concerts. <laughs> Gigantic beach balls. Yeah, so like that's, get that's in. what I'm thinking. Surfers. So I'm there early, five minutes. So we, we <laughs> get in, fun, and we just start on the top of a giant <laughs> flying saucer, and I'm like it, like, it hasn't even started yet. We got a little bit of time. And like, check this out. You can like glide all the way around on the inside of the saucer. And I like showed him how to do it. And he's just like learning how to move in Fortnite. Not. And then he's like, and then the timer counts down. And he's like, OK, where are we going? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> well, like, wow, well, there's a big be, thing in the to center. To be clear for the OGs out there, I have played Save the World. I played Save the World when it first came out. Yeah. And but, that's all I ever did. I played that and I left. Maybe yeah, but that's, that has nothing to do with the flying or anything. But. All I know is this giant thing starts forming in the center open area of the saucer. And I'm like, let's go there. And we go and we glide into it. And that's where the Fantasia esque acid trip yes. begins. <laughs> uh, highly recommend uh, if you're into that kind of stuff. <laughs> Definitely do that before attending this concert. <laughs> I, I would say, uh, It was things that I was expecting because I knew a little bit about prior concerts where you would be flying around and stuff. And they had they had stuff where you were flying around and there was like bubbles like it was it. it, The start was kind of like. The start of a Marvel movie where you saw like the individual like characters, like in some of their moments as they like fly by, except it wasn't Marvel characters. Mm. It was just like. Fortnite characters for the most part. (laughs) And. You go in there and you listen to music and then all of a sudden. And I literally said that I was like, I've been training for this my entire life because (laughs) we were on this slippery like slope thing and hitting boost. And it was just like playing Mario Kart. Yeah, 
It was oh, like so SSX, Mario Kart. So much like. fun. We were surfing, though. So let me ask you this. The music, was it live music like a concert? It's Oh, absolutely it's not. not live. It's not no, live it's, music. It's pre-recorded music that Ariana Grande obviously made for this, but it was it was party music, right? So it got you into the groove. It was definitely like EDM, like yeah. dubstep style music, dance. And we were, but, well, I no, I would not, I would no, in no way, sh- shape, form call it dubstep. Yeah, dubstep but it, but it, it dance. It's not dubstep. EDM. It is, it is, it is pop electronic ish mostly pop yeah. music uh it was it was some of the early songs i don't even know were hers uh you did different things like you were bouncing up and down on this thing that you found out was a giant teddy bear uh another time yeah, you were <laughs> yeah it was a giant teddy bear that was the giant eye in the, uh, in the sky okay uh there was another time that she's singing one of her songs and you are racing up these stairways to portals and you go to the next stairways. And then I forgot the artist that does that, but there's this artist that plays with perspective and has like the stairways at like different angles and stuff like that. It's like MC. So you start doing that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought it was Escher, yeah. but I thought Escher was more of the alien stuff. So no, that'd no. be Giger. Yeah. I'm thinking, but, uh, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. So it is yeah, Escher. Escher. It was Escher esque. I Escher-esque. think I said that at the time. Yeah, and you I did say sure Escher was correct time, or not. And I think, uh, Chad yeah. did at the time too. So, Literally, you're like on the stairwell and Ariana Grande is going up the stairwell that's complete sideways to you. And then there was just this other area where you're in this. Thing that looks like above the earth and there's stars and there's crystals and she hits things with a big hammer and it was very otherworldly the whole very time. Trippy. And it was fascinating. It was so much fun. And you had it, different ones you had more or less control. Sometimes you could get closer to her character as it was moving. Other times you were just flying through the air on top of a llama corn that had rainbows coming out of its butt. (laughs) And it was just fun and worked with the music. Now, that's the good part. The bad part is from start to finish, it's 15 minutes long. Yeah, it's not long at all. We were like, That's okay, it. what's next? And then we were like, oh, I guess we we're, oh, shoot, we're done. Acid, because this is back to normal. <laughs> acid wore off real fast. It's back to normal in the yeah. sense of like, we're still on a llama Ooh. corn flying around, you know, yeah. like that going was, through rings. But yeah. That was a really weird crash. Yeah. Uh, it's like salvia. No, I mean. I also I, think it's get weird it. that it was billed as a concert, but there was no actual live music. Uh, I, I agree mean, with that. that. Yeah, I do, experience. but I kind of. OK, I kind of I kind of agree, but I kind of don't agree because like, sure. I, I, I'm OK with the definition of concert being stretched, but if they're going to do it, first of all, you should have some opening acts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, I, I mean, if, a, if if that's your concept of a concert, then the radio is a concert. Oh, every honey, day. you guys are missing a lot. But but it's so different <laughs> from the radio because it's it's a lot more interactive than a radio is. You you feel you actually yeah. feel like you're interacting with the characters. Yeah. Right. yeah. So I, I can see why there's again stretched, kind of really bent definition of concert yeah but it's definitely not like radio yeah Uh, it's just from the fact that you have these different things that you can do and you can interact with the environment sometimes less sometimes more but i mean the song should be longer because they were all like short snippets of the song pretty much you need you need opening acts Uh, the opening act should have like two or three songs each Mm -hmm. and then the headliner should be there like, OK, I get it that you want to shorten the song and you want to take what is normally a three and a half, four minute song and you want to bring it down to like two minutes or so. I get that. But she's got a library here yeah. to like pull from. Yeah. Do if, if you're going to do two minutes, then do 10 of her songs mm. and do this interactive thing longer. I mean, I really I'm not saying it should be a two hour experience like a real so concert there's two or three or four hours that. So for one on the what I would want is everything you guys touched on. I agree. Should be. I think they would do better in the sense of having what I said 
a literal stage with a virtual person dancing and let me just be in the crowd and just be there for that duration mm -hmm. of time. I think that would do this yeah. better in this sense because they're trying to make the whole thing with this is an experience. They're trying to make a game yeah. out of this watching scenario. Um, but the other part of this, maybe for part of it, though, I wouldn't want the whole thing to be like that because then it'd be like, what am I? Because then it's even less of a concert right. because of what Kelly said that it's pre-recorded. Right. Well, so here's the other thing, too, that would need to be happening with a live concert, because the reason why I go to concerts is not because I want to listen to the artists play the, the songs. It's because they go, what's up? You know, South Carolina, like yeah. we're here. Hey, like, I'm glad you're with yeah. me. Like giving that the human part, interaction and yeah like part. giving the, even yeah. that little interaction, the interaction would make yeah. me feel that i'm more like actually there and that that yeah. little things like yeah. that they could have pre-recorded it but it would still seem you know that because they could even do like i mean think about phasma right you have like voice mm -hmm. recognition so you can even have like yeah i can't hear you and then people yell and they have to be louder yeah. for it to pick up on the soundboard i you mean know i mean? just like, freaking did it i just did yeah, it yeah there's like, there's so many cool things they could do <laughs> Um, but the other side of this, which I understand why they've done the way they did, mm. is because what I realized at the end of this, it wasn't about the concert experience. This was not about mm. Ariana Grande. I mean, yeah, sure, she was there, but this wasn't about that. This was about getting XP for your character. Because afterwards, you jumped oh. on a llama corn and you had probably at least 20 minutes of flying around collecting these rings that gave you XP every ring that you went through. So by attending this concert, you got XP at the very end to get all these rings and you get so many extra XP. And then at that point, people would drop out because they knew it was over. So it's like that's really yeah. the incentive for people to actually join was to actually get the XP at the end, not really the concert. Well, I I don't think that was as much of an incentive as the skins and everything else. Well, and that's the, the quest. That, I mean, I think the no, a lot of a lot of them, a lot of them you can pick up through quests. Not well, not the Ariana but Grande. But you have to have skin, battle pass saying, to get those quests, get those skins. Some of them, but not all. Mm. Uh, but again, they're there to sell yeah. stuff. So yes, there's absolutely stuff that is like that. The XP that they gave out, uh, having now played for a little bit, wasn't that much XP. No, it wasn't. But it's still um, XP. Like that's I the reason I would see myself. I doing think. That. I think the number one thing behind this was they used her name to bring people in to get him. And let's be honest, Mike, it worked. I mean, I watched it. It's cool. <laughs> I'd do it again. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. They used her name to bring people in to get them into the Fortnite economy yeah. and ecosystem. And it worked. Yeah, no, I, uh, I know what you're saying. No, I, I get it. It's I mean, it was I really just, you bringing how, me with in. how much money. <laughs> With how much money they bring in, I don't want to see another one of these that's 15 minutes. Yeah, long. no, for sure. Yeah. I agree with that 100 percent. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, they, yeah. they have way too much money to be 45 dealing with five minutes. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes is a minimum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, there's probably. Some statisticians that are a ton smarter than me that are sitting there. <laughs> And Nobody is smarter than you, Brian. Oh, there's plenty of people smarter than Brian. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, let's be clear. Uh, Ke Kelly, flattery will get you everywhere, but you're married, lady. <laughs> no, so are you. <laughs> yep. Exactly. And we're not married to so, each other. So, <laughs> so that flattery is only going to get you so far. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, it's like, <laughs> I don't even know. I'm cheating. You're credit. Che uh, your, your, his, your wife, husband is cheating on me. Yeah, I know it's a weird yeah. triangle. I don't even. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Octagon or something. <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> but there's, there's, there's likely someone sitting there saying, okay, well we're keeping it short because after this amount of time we have this many people drop off and I'm like, mm. Yeah, no, I get that there's the short attention span. There's the YouTube culture. There's the TikTok there's culture. There's the 12 year olds like that, that are that, playing the game. Yeah, there, before there their is, parents realize but, it. And... Yeah. What are you doing watching but, Ariana Grande? <laughs> I'm turning off the modem. Back yep. to, <laughs> exactly. It's back to the fact that they call it a concert. And, you know, they really should do that word justice. <clears throat> and actually, yeah. I get that they're not going to have people live. Yeah. And if fake it at the very, you know, most is what yeah. they're going to do. Make it because because they did like five of these. And it's the exact same show because I went to two of them. Yeah. It's the mm. exact same show each yeah, time. I'd ask that too. It's not a concert. That's not a concert. 
I'm I, sorry. Th- well, no, it's fine. I, I get that. It's I, fine I, I get for you, Brian. From. It's not, it's not fine, fine for me. Either. I got it. No, I feel you. No, I, I, I get you. But what I'm like saying is, yeah, is. They're not going to stop calling that, but at least they could do it more justice by getting it closer to that, making mm-hmm. it keeping the interactivity, but making it longer, bringing in opening acts yeah. and the headliner. Uh, I mean, hey, listen, I don't know how many times that Saturday Night Live called it live uh, music. No. Uh, very rarely, actually, very rarely. So it is a it is inside of a studio and that's uh, extremely, extremely difficult audio. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm not calling them out and saying they did bad things, but it was frequently not live because it was so hard to balance the audio in that. Well, studio. it's just like you watch all these like like the the Super Bowl and stuff. And like it was I think it was the Foo Fighters or yeah. uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers uh, probably like 10 years ago now. Yep. But like they're running around bah, 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 and it's like you look at their guitar. They're not plugged into anything. They're just like running around. There's no yeah. way and you're like, well, yeah. I think Metallica, they did it, too. It was like there's no way that they could do that because of the situation. Yeah. Like you can't like yeah. especially with the Janet Jackson. Yes. Right. You can't have a scenario where like. Janet Jackson exposed herself on live TV anymore. So they can't afford mm. to have an artist mess up or the sound audio go bad in the middle of the show. So the safest way to do that is to play pre-recorded. And that yeah. is a bit of a stretch. I get you, but there is a slight similarity there. I mean, those are still much closer to the concert. When you say than stretch, are you referring to Janet I Jackson could... or? No. And that that is that is that is a beautiful woman right there. And I will, sir, you do not besmirch her name. With that being said, give us a few minutes. <laughs> We're going to go on a short break. <laughs> Listen to actually our friends podcast. Uh, they're great. Yeah, that's pretty they, amazing. It's a great yeah. a, co- a commercial for our friends they podcast. Literally cover the hard topics that most people don't <laughs> want to talk about. And it's great. Take a minute. Everything we don't talk about yeah. here. Take a minute. Check about. them out. They're yeah. awesome. We'll be back in just a minute. And we're back. Starting with the nice oh, ASMR it. of <laughs> SAS Gaming. Please. Do you like stop listening it. to people whisper in your ear really quietly? I will, I will give you almost anything. <laughs> I will give you one of my children <laughs> to stop. Stop. Please stop. No, we're not doing this here. That's not going to happen. Figured yeah. to do it a little different. It worked out. You guys were freaked out. That's good. I get- wasn't freaked out. I was just waiting for you to finish this bit. <sighs> this is what we've been playing. So, what we've been playing. We kind of mentioned it the first half. So, our game of the moment <laughs> yeah, was The Fortnite. Yep, I know your sad disappointment stare right now listening to the podcast going, those guys have played the Fortnite. I know, it's terrible. Uh, it's it's not the best thing you should ever do, but I, I you know, I am part of the Well, I, I think what you mentioned earlier is a very important part that between you, me, and Bruno, all of us had played Fortnite before and we had played the original yeah. Fortnite, well, now known as Club. Save the World. <laughs> yeah, now known as Save the World, which was a base building tower defense horde, game. horde, horde yeah. defense game where mm-hmm. zombies came in and you you collected resources and you built traps and you built walls and stuff like that. And then a horde of zombies would come in and try to break that it down and you would fun. try to get back to that. Now that I remember, like like the spike walls and like, yeah, those were kind of fun. The turrets and stuff. Yeah, what I'm actually shocked is that they have not incorporated the traps, Mm -hmm. at least as far as I've seen, into the Battle Royale side, because that would be hilarious, because if somebody was following you going up, then you have like a spike trap that pops up. Yeah, that would actually be pretty, especially you had to like play that early. And I think it's not something you would just drop down like. Like if you had planned this area and then someone followed you, like you would go up the stairs and then, yeah, there would be the trap. So and I think honestly, before <laughs> I, th- I was probably the only one before this Ariana Grande stuff 
that actually played the Battle Royale Fortnite as well. Yeah, I don't think because I, I had definitely played that previously. If I had, I and and it, mm, I don't know because I, I definitely played PUBG. I was definitely into PUBG. I did. I did that. I did Apex. Uh, I came from DayZ. So DayZ was like the whole like open and survival world thing playing. And then when you got the adrenaline yeah. of like a battle, like a PVP fight, that adrenaline was so good. And then like when you played PUBG, it was like the same thing. except the adrenaline was the whole time. And then like yeah. Apex kind of like took that on, but like extra. So, well, yeah, Apex, it brought in the hero component, yeah. of the, the hero character. OK, so so really quickly to get it out of the way, uh, Fortnite is a free to play uh, powered and paid for by cosmetics. Yep. Third person shooter game that primarily has the mechanics of a battle royale, which means you or you in a squad up to four because they have singles, duos, trios and squads singles. of four singles, too. You say singles? I started with singles. singles. Oh, said, I said okay. singles. Sorry. Okay, sorry. You drop in on an island. Uh, you literally paraglide, drop into an island in different places of you choosing. From a bus. With f- from a floating and you bus have to instead of a bus plane driver. like PUBG. Uh, Always think and, the bus driver. That's what that's the biggest thing it's I like learned. Rule number one of Fight Club. Yes. Yeah. No one, well, nobody, the, nobody the biggest thing for playing Club. the game you yes. learned. As a parent, you learned quite a bit otherwise. But <laughs> it, you drop in with you, and uh, there's a total of uh, typically around 100 players, and they all duke it out until there's only one left, with the added mechanic that the playing area constantly is shrinking in the, into random areas. It doesn't go right down to the center. It just goes down to different areas, uh, different circles always within each other, and they shrink and they'll stay there for a little bit and then they'll shrink down. And what that's meant to do is as one, you can't hide in a toilet the entire time, and just shoot anyone <laughs> that comes in. But it also helps when the fact that there's only one other person left with you and this other person out of 100 that you don't have this giant map that you're in. It forces you together so it keeps the action going. Yeah. Uh, so that's a good description of what Fortnite is, except also what kind of brought Fortnite really different from the other board battle royales was two things. They did cartoony type art style Mm. so that they could make the violence a bit more acceptable. Child friendly. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. Child friendly. Blood. There is no blood. There's zero blood. Uh, You, you, you uh, deapparate actually. Right. And on top of that, the other thing that they do is they brought in the building mechanics from the Save the World. So you weren't just fighting, but you could build a ramp up to the sky and and then build a cover over yourself while you healed up really quick while, you know, people were trying to shoot their ways in. Then you like shot them when they shot the cover off and it, it brought in some other mechanics that at the time that this released in 2017, I believe it. They didn't really have because everything else that was Battle Royale at the time was gritty, realistic, yeah. military shooter type thing. I mean, you literally were jumping out of the back of a cargo plane. So that was the big joke is because in Save the World, you ran into this character mm-hmm. that had converted this bus into this blimp. And it was part of the story where you helped him. It's a blimp bus. Get that up in the sky. Now it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get that up into the sky so that it would like he would help, you know, your base, basically. So they reuse that asset in this instead of the cargo plane. So that wasn't as short as I thought it would be. I mean, it's basically a battle royale with base building included that has art styles of characters that cartoony like and and they embrace that whole like licensing situation so like there's characters of marvel in this game there is like characters of like anime I, there's yeah, like all superman. of these things superman like in this game free guy thanos ariana grande like they don't care who you are yeah. uh they want to bring you in if it's going to bring people in that will buy the cosmetics yeah, yeah. and that's a very good point is this game is definitely is, not pay to win this is not a pay to win game it's not but this is a very much pay to have cosmetics and they and they and i said this uh during the the game of the moment but 
they do not allow you to gain V bucks, which is their currency through playing the game at a free state. You don't you don't mm-hmm. earn it, period. You don't mm-hmm. get it. Uh, most games they give you, you some grinding, but you can't do that. You can get cosmetics, some, mm-hmm. not all cosmetics, very limited, can, some, maybe. <laughs> but you can get some cosmetics just from playing the game. Right. Uh, it was very interesting because they just released Clark Kent and Superman and it made it very much <laughs> seem like mm-hmm. you could earn him through gameplay. You had to do these missions. But, until Mike did all the missions and then it was like, oh, but you don't have the battle uh, pass, which is yeah. how you can make some V bucks back. So battle pass is like their subscription service, like every other game that has a battle pass now. Uh, but basically, you pay like eleven yeah. ninety nine a month, like and you get five, a subscription to get all well, these things. Oh my god! You know, well, there's per two tier. ways. That's the new no. way. That's the new way. That the twelve dollars a month uh, subscription includes the battle pass along with some other things. The battle pass each month or however long it takes is usually about five bucks. Yeah. So with that, which is how each, they get people each tier, um, you get like a hundred V bucks back. So if you go to the store to try to buy something, V bucks cost like each item is like so twenty eight hundred V bucks equals to about eight bucks. And so if you want to buy a skin, that's like twenty eight hundred, like basically eight bucks a pop for a skin. Give take. And mm. if it's like more popular, obviously, it's going to be a little bit more. If it's like less popular, it'll be a little less. And there's other things you can buy. Again, they, they're between cosmetics. Eight and twenty dollars. That's what this game is about. But they very much know that they don't care that you can't grind to make the the different things they don't care because they know people Nobody are so into Listen, being able to be a superman or being able to be a thanos that they're going to pay the money to do it kids well and that's actually well. a really interesting point too is because they can get away without letting you grind for an in-game currency because it's not loot boxes yeah it isn't randomized yeah yep. you yep. do these quests and then you ha- maybe have to have the battle pass or maybe this other thing. And then you get that item. That is actually is, a good point. Kind of one of the nice things. That actually. is actually yeah. one of the things I will praise them on. There are no loot boxes in Fortnite. Yeah. The, the only the no closest thing you're going to get to a, a loot box is the random chest you come across in the game that gives you weapons for that game. And that's it. Like there is, that's yeah. the only RNG that in the ring where the mm-hmm. ring is going to go. That's the RNG of the, of the map. Uh, And I'll praise them on that because Epic like that is a solid thing because we don't see that in Rocket League. Rocket League now owns Epic. Of course, Rocket League was before Epic. Um, Epic now owns Rocket Rocket League, League. but Um. Epic League now owns Rocket League. So it's it is something like that where there's loot boxes involved and RNG is highly on that list of like people buying cosmetics because you try to get the best thing. But yeah, there's not like that in in Fortnite. So Uh, very interesting. Um, I will say they had good parental controls yes. from what we saw. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't we didn't go too in depth on them on our game of the moment video, but we did touch upon that uh, because here's the thing is because it's cosmetics. Because it's cosmetics and because a lot of what they gear this towards with the cartoony look and everything mm-hmm. and the popular characters and real life people that it is very attractive to the under 20 crowd. Me. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> oh. And you need the parental controls Sorry, because Mike. of multiple things. One, when you first start playing, it's very hard not to win. They make it super easy mm-hmm. to win so that you get that adrenaline kick and that you want mm-hmm. to chase that. Uh, I I just today got my first victory else in multiple, multiple days because I'm actually now playing against real players instead of bots. Yep. Granted, most of them are probably 12 and kicking my butt. I'm not saying I, I posted that. a video and I'm OK. Bots. Didn't say that. I'm OK <laughs> with with these young, very fast reflexed people kicking my butt. It's OK. But they so it's very insidious because very much like a drug dealer, the first hit is free. Yep. <laughs> Seriously. So but that. so true but it's on true. top of it's that totally i mean i don't know anything about what you're talking about so this is all new to me <laughs> <laughs> if you had to pay for the first one you had the wrong person I they make it very easy i mean easy. did you have to pay for the second or the third or 
I'm yeah, they make it very easy to purchase things in game and they per they put it in sets as well. So it's incentivize you to try to get the entire Wait, set. You can buy them in so, sets. I didn't know. This yes. <laughs> so like you get the Superman costume with the. Ain't no person I know will be selling in sets. Friday night set. Your Friday hey, night set. Never I'm mind. That. <laughs> that gives me but, an idea. Huh. Oh <laughs> Kidding. But it's it it's anything? extremely easy for younger people to get super interested in this because they go in there, they win. And on top of that. It's so universal that children like you got to wait until you hear this, because hopefully your children are young enough that you will, this will not be a thing. But children in the schoolyard will use default as an insult. What? So, you know, back when we were younger and like if you wore the oh. wrong brand of jeans, like I guess I guess nowadays mm. maybe it'd be like you got the Costco jeans, you know, yeah. and, and by the way, I, I, I rock Costco jeans because mm. like they're fine. I don't care. <laughs> I, I'm not trying to I'm married. I'm not trying to impress anyone. <laughs> Uh, but no, in all seriousness, like like oh. the things that you'd have as schoolyard insults back in the day of like what you were wearing and stuff like that. Now they're like the insult of what you're wearing is, oh, oh you're just default. You're the default oh character. Oh, my God. You, oh, my God. You gosh. can't, oh. you can't, can't start using afford. That. You can't afford oh my the cosmetics. <laughs> I can't wait to start using that. I can't. I am it's going awesome. to I'm going to I'm going to insult Jesse just randomly and be like, you're so default. I'm just going to yeah. walk away. Like, like what? What? <laughs> Maybe did, did you even look what you were wearing today? You're so default. Yep. Like, did your mother dress you that way? It's default. No, like oh, it's it's man. an insult. And that's how pervasive this game has become. Wow. And I need to play this how game much? just to stay up with current oh, events. I'm, like, listen, I, I will be there for you the first time you play. I'm, I'm in on this. God. Uh, cause it will yeah. be fun. Uh, I, I'm going to watch all about you play Minecraft. by yourself. The like first time. I am in for some Minecraft, but this one is, this is going to be hard for me. So yeah, it, it's, it's interesting. Fortnite uh, is and a it's game. insidious. It's insidious. Check it out. It's free. Uh, there's other modes and stuff you can do it. it, it just go play it. If you want to play, if you don't want to play it, fine. There, there's PUBG. there's apex, whatever battle royales or dab a dozen at this point. Yeah, I played I, the last word. The last word I have there is. It is fun enough that Mike, who was very anti this, I was the grandpa. Oh, is sitting there and setting up Discord groups and say, "Get in here! We gotta like do these quests! Like, let's go!" I didn't set that up. That was not me. But I am in different <laughs> Discord groups that have people playing Fortnite. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So sorry. Uh, I played another game this week. Uh, I played two actually. I uh, played the Ascent. So we played the Ascent last weekend. We talked about last week the Cyberpunk, um, what did you call it? Dual stick shooter or whatever. Um, so we still played that. I haven't played it again since Saturday, but still very much fun. If you have friends and you want to just shoot a bunch of things and feel the Cyberpunk vibe, definitely go check it out. It's free on Xbox Game Pass. Um, still 30 something on uh, Steam. So check that out. The other thing that I played I was. Something interesting because i guess it's from the past and i never heard of it i saw an article about it because they're releasing it on steam come september 1st but it's called cookie clicker and i didn't know what the heck this was oh so I looked is it, up. it called Co oh that sounds uh, like right i, right I want to be clear alley. i want to okay Who's gonna uh, yes go ahead cookie. go ahead and start so so <laughs> cookie clicker Girl, is a website you, don't you, even get, know. you can google it cookie clicker uh whatever it is it's like some weird website slash cookie clicker but the idea is uh, it's broken into three panels and there's the left side's a cookie. this big cookie you can click on. Uh, there mm -hmm. is the middle panel, which you don't really know what does much at the time. And on the right it's side a chocolate chip cookie. is like a option for uh, a cursor or a grandma. And you're like, what? Uh, if you highlight over, it kind of tells you what it is. But as you click the cookie, every time you click the cookie, you create one cookie. So as you keep clicking, you create as many cookies as you click. Well, as you unlock like 10 or 20, uh, you unlock the grandma. Well, if you get grandma, you can pay 20 cookies that you produced to make a grandma. And then the grandma will produce eight cookies or so every every second. Oh, 
Like so now grandma's she's working too, for yes. me because grandmas make good cookies. So mm-hmm. as you progress mm-hmm. through this this progression of and like you upgrade clicking, them, this and makes me want a yeah, cookie you can keep now, upgrading. Actually. There's a cursor, so it'll click for you every second or every ten seconds. So you buy more of those, and every ten seconds, a, 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 a somebody clicks for you. So you keep doing you, this until you start making. You upgrade your grandmas, and it doubles their output. Yeah, you can make a farm, mm. you can make a temple, you make a bank, and each one of these like you're just adding in these tiers of like ridiculous amount of cookies. I'm up to I think like I don't know what I say earlier like. Uh, you said 15 million, million cookies 15 per second million and I, CPS, which cookies per second. So <laughs> and my initial my CPS, first just response to you was, sure. yeah, just cookies, just per, cookies second. per second. But as soon as you said that, I said amateur. Yeah. And I was like, I'm like, I'm like, up to like don't the billions even know point, right? so default, what this Mike. like. So there are so many <laughs> levels of this game that you don't even like four or five days from now, you're just going to come to me and go. Holy shit! This like <laughs> thing happened, and I'm gonna be mm-hmm. yep. now. Now you're starting to understand because oh, wow, it it gets deep. Yeah, no, it goes places. It has it has an interesting story, and it actually goes places uh, because this is one of the games that you prestige, which means that you kind of get to the point where you hit this wall. Mm-hmm. And the wall is that it's not that you're not progressing anymore. It's just it takes so long to make mm-hmm. any progression that you're just like, oh, my God, it's taking forever. And then you can decide to kind of quit. And then when you start over, depending on how far you got spoilers, it gives you the ability to go faster this time. Yeah, makes sense. Oh. And every so you're time you should go sell further, your company. Yes. And then start a new okay. company. Copying you start the same over, and then, but you can get to the same level that you were before in less time. And you prestige multiple times. Yeah. And he hasn't even prestiged once. And that's the first thing that where you start going to the next level on this. And there's levels past that. Yeah. And this is- so anyway, I played that. Check it out. Google it. Call Cookie Clicker. It's a Windows or it's a it's a browser game. It's a browser game you can play. Oh yeah, it's actually available it's on Steam, Android actually. and going to Steam uh, September first, I think it said. But it's a uh, it's it's a good thing where you can like like if you have multiple monitors and like you can bring this up on one monitor and just let it run. But, like just do that. Like, I've been literally just leaving it up and it's just been running and I just go back and I click on things and I come back and I'm like up to like, so, so many now. So your next uh, your next assignment after this, once you have cookie clickered yourself out, uh, time clickers is next after that. Oh, my God. There's other games. No, oh this Lord. is an old genre like this is years and years old, dude. They've made so many of these time clickers is good. Um, there's another one. There's adventure clickers or something like that i'll have to look it up that's oh, pretty man. good it's it's based off of like like D tropes oh man here i am what am i doing wasting uh, my time with cookie clickers? no wait no. wait and then what brings it even to the next level is time clickers 2 which brings it to the first Whoa. person shooter realm with mmo trappings that you can work together with people to like do raid bosses wow so and and let it what he is, what he isn't telling you, by the way, is that the whole concept of a clicker game is a you click to do something, but then you upgrade to things to do it automatically, which means that you can then let it go by itself. You can walk away yeah. okay. for 10, 12 hours and it continues working for you. Oh. Yeah, the grind. So. Also, Kelly, you're a little hot right now. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Wow. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but you're a little hot. Sorry, guys. Oh no, it's, I think it's my monitor. You look great wow. on uh, the <laughs> normal feed. I didn't. Uh, I didn't expect to hear that tonight. But I mean, okay. I she's always, always like hot. Come on. Hot. He was like blunt <laughs> about it. Don't think I like, always look a little hot. Like Just Kelly, you look. All of our you listeners. look hot tonight. <laughs> I'm going to take a screenshot. So so I, I don't think I'm a hot babe. Like, this oh, is not man. a thing. <laughs> oh, Kelly. I'll drop this I in Discord. Anyway. You can see what I'm talking about. So yeah. I've been playing that. That is what I'm glad thing. on the real uh, video. But I, that's look, all I played this week other than caught. Fortnite. Because, man, we've been playing the crap out of that. What did you play this week, yeah. Kelly? Yeah, we have. So I started playing an older game. Banana bread. 
Uh, most everybody knows one of my very favorite games is uh, What Remains of Edith Finch or The Remains of yes. Edith Finch. Yes. And uh, Zysia, you suggested to me the Stanley Parable. Was which it me I, that told you that? I so I had seen it. Um, I think I told you like you definitely got to play that. You got to play it, yeah. But I had seen it in other, like as other like recommendations. If you like this, you should play this. Uh, but you're the last person to say you should totally play it. All right, cool. So I'll I had downloaded it. Yeah, I'm giving totally. You totally get credit. I played I, I I downloaded it a while ago and we've been talking about like all these other games. There's, just, there's always just something on your list. Things get ahead of it. Right. So Steve. I finally was like, I'm going to play this. And it is uh, amazing. It's love. It. One his, it's hysterical. I love um, the narrator. He's so good. It, oh, my gosh. He is so amazing. Makes it, you feel really stupid most of the time. But yeah, <laughs> it does. So you are just stanley and you're in a seat and the narrator is telling you about you know you just do this and do this and then you're done you go home uh you click these buttons and you're you're happy you're content and then one day stanley isn't content and he gets up and he walks out and nobody's there and where did everybody go and you try these doors and the narrator like guides you to where One you're day, supposed to go. Stanley <laughs> decides to get up and walk away from his seat. <laughs> and you're like, uh, I guess Terrible, I turn I here and walk. you like, so you just know from your, you know, keyboarding stuff. Just walk away. He walks, he, he looks for his boss in the, the boardroom and you're like, mm, okay. And you're like, where the, is the boardroom and figure it out. Stanley, uh, I said the boardroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're like, I don't know where the boardroom is, dude. Like, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I I walk. The, would it, would it, I'm not ruining this for anybody because this is part of the very beginning of the game. But so you walk through and there's he's like, oh, go this way. And then there's a big sign that says. Like exit this way or or. or uh, sudden death if, if you want to die go this something like that and you, I was like I'm just gonna go this way and he was like Stanley was gonna die if he went this way he knew better of that and he turned around and I was like I'm gonna turn around and, <laughs> yeah so it uh it the narrator gives you guidance but at the same time is the does the narrator really have your best interest at heart uh, it is a really cool video game. Um, there was another video game that I played uh, that was kind of similar, not it was more similar to the remains of Edith Finch called Gone Home. Um, and that one was a little more difficult, not <laughs> not funny at all. Uh, <clears throat> this one I definitely enjoyed more. So um, if you like something that's humorous, uh, and you like something that you, you're you have control over, definitely try it out. I, so it's go ahead. One of the neat things about this game is it's the replay replayability we talk about mm, a lot. Um, yes. So there are 19 different endings to this game. It's going to be a, okay. I'm going to be just and my husband is going to be so if upset. you play <laughs> this game, you'll understand what I mean. But there are multiple outcomes that can lead you down different paths that won't even get you to an ending. So, again, there are 19 endings to this game, but that doesn't mean that you won't find paths that will not actually get you to the end of the game. So when you said earlier, no spoilers, yeah. the very beginning, yeah. that is actually a spoiler because there is, in fact, a very beginning part of the game where you absolutely do not listen to the narrator and you immediately just dip out and okay. you can quit the game that way. So, well, I, I, and yeah. that way. It, oh, well, OK, I'm, I'm still on a spoiler because you have to figure that out. But the point is, there are definitely a lot of different choices. And that's one of the cool things about this game is uh, it's very much in the the portal like world. almost. Yes. like it seems very like portal. the portal -esque. same humor is portal, which yeah, ugh, portal. I mean, I think I talked about it before, too. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you guys have talked about it before yeah. as well. Love portal portals. 
freaking hysterical. But yeah, that's Stanley Parable is really good. It's probably, you know, a couple of bucks on Steam at this point because it's been out oh, forever. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I really should have uh, double checked that. But it's, so there's it another game expensive. that you should check out if you're into that. Mm. And I'm pulling up my Steam account to be able to pull you the name because the name is a lot different than the Stanley Parable. Uh, but Stanley Parable is $14.99 on Steam. Wow, I'm surprised it's actually that mm-hmm. still expensive. I figured it'd been yeah. a couple bucks by this point. That um, awesome. You could probably get yes. uh, probably get it on sale cheaper than that for sure. Yeah, for sure. The uh, no, I mean that's fine. It's it's worth fifteen bucks for sure. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yes. help the developers. If you're out. just a deal hunter like me, you yeah. can definitely get it cheaper than that. I'm sure. Deal hunter is not the word, but go ahead. <laughs> I like the word th- deal th- hunter. That's a good word. I oh think, my god! No, no, you got to find this game because I think I, I think I know what game it's, it is. I'm, trying, I'm to find. trying to pull it up, and it's it's being weird. Um, so the <sighs> it do you play a female protagonist? In it? I don't think so. Okay, may not be the game I'm thinking of. It's um, uh, it's not there. I think it may be the same company, maybe. Anyway, and continue on. this is I when the know. audience knows that Zeisia did not prepare for this. Well, I just thought well, about he it didn't right know. now. Yeah, <laughs> she got me on a track that I just had to talk about. Maybe, maybe we should move on to yeah. the short attention news. Yes. Starting at 56 seconds? Gosh. Okay, so there is... Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Start He's got over, the start. papers again. What? He's got the papers again. <laughs> oh, man. Damn it. Now I feel left out. So I have it. I have it right now. I'm going to tell you. Hold on. Oh, I'm going to... Hold on. It's called Dr. Langus- Langskov, the Tiger, and the Terrible Cursed Emerald, a Wicked... I'm sorry, a whirlwind heist. Okay, can you put that in Discord for me? That'd be great. Dr. Lingskov, <laughs> the tiger, and the terribly cursed emerald. A Hold wind on. world heist. A whirlwind heist. You've already exceeded a short news time span. Dr. what? <laughs> I'll just put it in chat, but the point is that's hey. the game. It's fine. Dr. Cunning Linguist. <laughs> Oh man. And That's the, part of a different story. It's a different so story. Whirlwind. Tell us about the short attention news that you have this week, Kelly. So I do have some short attention news. The first one I've got for you is uh there's a lawnmower simulation game on Steam that is <laughs> some really freaking hysterical reviews per the PC gamer uh article that we read. Um I when I first saw this, I thought, oh, OK, this is going to be funny. Like people are going to be talking about like, oh, how amazing it is. And they're like, no, uh, it says uh, a couple of the quotes. This is literally the bare minimum of the satisfying lawnmower experience. Um, lawn mowing experience. Uh, lawn mowing experience. <laughs> <laughs> lawn mowing experience. I can't. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Clearly, I mow my lawn. Oh, you literally have someone who cuts my grass because it's like the epitome <laughs> of the epitome. I don't want to cut my grass. I don't. I do. This have is the curtain. lawn mowing experience. <laughs> uh, short attention news, my tent fanny. Um, <laughs> I don't want to. Qu- <laughs> You're what, fanny? <laughs> Oh, my. I I actually like the guy who sat there and said, I gra- <laughs> I grinded away at this game so I could get mm. this particular mower because yeah. I have this mower and I can't believe that this mower is is so improperly simulated yes. here it's, that there's no way it would bog down at full RPM and yeah. like speed. I was like, holy cow. And people literally said, there's no way you should put the word simulator into the title. Yeah. This like, game. I literally looked My at it. My five-year-old is making me refund this because he can't get off the mower, <laughs> said one of the reviewers. They're also, like, where's the weed whacker? No weed whacker? No speed control? He doesn't understand how to not overheat the engine. 
not recommended for kids right now. <laughs> like, I mean, that's the thing. I saw the title like, and I was like, I t- like, I'm also thinking uh, that putting your five year old on a like 500 to to a thousand pound, like mm. actual big. Lawn mowing machine is also not recommended. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> So because they literally say that as if their five year old goes out and mows these things on the regular anyway. Ah, well, moving on, mowing on, (laughs) mowing on to the next game, which is Halo the Infinite, which is going to be coming out soon. A lot of people were able to play around with the kind of not quite beta, but kind of the test multiplayer version of it. And one of the things that they thought was interesting is that the bots were kind of nice, not easy. A lot of people have been saying how the bot AI is fantastic and it will wreck your world. But after they do kill you, what they found out is they won't teabag you. Oh, good. Which is actually kind of nice. And it was a, it was they said uh, bots are primarily a part of Halo Infinite to help players learn and experiment with the multiplayer experience. Learn, learn by dying. But we want <laughs> players to feel comfortable making mistakes against bots because making mistakes means you're improving. Uh, they did say one bot looked like it was teabagging, but they went back and they said, no, actually, that bot was just done killing you and was trying to jump up on that ramp. Mm, got it. Because that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Only time will tell. So going back to Fortnite, uh, there would actually because of the whole lawsuit uh, between Epic and Apple, uh, a lot of things got uncovered. And one of those things that got uncovered uh, was some leaked footage that they saw uh, a streamer, actually a, a Twitch uh, or a Twitter person user, uh, Hyper uh, Hype X. Um, he posted a long time ago, it said, according to Epic Games, uh, stipulated uh, exhibits, uh, documents, a map I tweeted out a week ago, apparently for an open world simulator sandbox mode. So what has been leaked for what they say is Fortnite's going to have an open world RPG mode or a spinoff that could be potentially something that's like added into the game, just like another mode you can play. Uh, But it has like actual new characters, new uh, abilities you can do, new weapons and same world, same type. uh, We're not necessarily the same world, but the same style game, except open world where you can actually go out and do survival things. So there's like a campfire. There's different things like that. And uh, I'm like super excited about this because this is right up my alley. I can't wait to report on the wood. He <laughs> loves the wood. Uh, well, and you have not reported on the wood yet. Uh, and you should. Maybe there's a second video coming. Uh, for Fortnite. That I'm waiting for it. With. Hardwood. OK. And. <laughs> like if this goes open world like uh on the lines of uh gta online that'd be pretty darn cool i would be and and we've said it before they created a good set of tools that's the whole reason why they were able to pivot from this base building horde mode game to a battle royale so quickly because they did it fast and everybody's like, they're copying PUBG. Uh, PUBG wasn't the first one to do it in the first place, people. Uh, DayZ did uh, a, somewhat well, similar as well. Yeah, mods and stuff that would do different things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's where the, that's PUBG came well, from. Right, DayZ came PUBG from, came from an yeah, Arma mod. From DayZ, yeah, H1Z1. Yeah, okay, maybe it was DayZ. H1Z1, was an all that yeah. stuff came from. Yeah, yeah H1Z1, yeah. there we go. PUBG uh, came so from I mean, H1Z1, like they, they but basic- H1Z1 came from DayZ Arma mod. Yeah. And I mean, that's all they did is they created a mod of their Fortnite game. To, they did it as a joke, yeah. uh, kind of ish, and turned it into it's one funny. of these games. It's fun. so, <sighs> I have to throw this in there. The DayZ mod from Arma. So Arma 2 was a military simulator, like actual, like not Call of Duty, like way above simulation of Call of Duty. Uh, they actually made DayZ mod from Arma 2, which was an Australian, like uh, I think Ranger or something. He made a game because he wanted to have a mod where it was more like survival, like esque, mm-hmm. like to where it actually felt like you had to eat, you had to drink, you had to sleep, you had to do all this like thing to like make it more like actual, like realistic. And at the last moment, they just added zombies. And he was like, "Yeah, cool, whatever, I'm out." <laughs> Daisy was, but born. we're not done <clears throat> with 
Fortnite yet, are we, Kelly? No, we are not, because Fortnite accidentally created a not suitable for work emote. This was created for the Ariana Grande concert concert uh, <laughs> due to an animation glitch. They say it is basically if you've run up to give somebody a hug, you arms open, you kneel down and. You're right. In somebody's <laughs> junk. Um, <laughs> well, you don't kneel down on purpose. It was it was the glitch was that you would go for the hug and you would kneel at the <laughs> right moment, which would go in for and the animation, need... but you would and the other person would stand. So. It was <laughs> and it was happy. amazing as the other person who, who stood. I thought it was amazing. Oh, it was <laughs> definitely amazing. Hilarious. Spectacular. Yeah, they, they took the game. They, they took that out, out of the game until they patched yeah. it. And then once they did, they released it back. But that does not happen anymore. Yeah. I want to point out that not Kelly just said, female. as the other person who stood, I found it amazing. <laughs> oh That's <my> exactly God. <laughs> right. <laughs> you missed it. You totally missed it, Mike. <laughs> ah. Well, surprise, surprise to absolutely no one who's paying attention to governments that uh, are treating the pandemic differently. PAX Australia has been canceled. That makes sense. The Australian government has basically said that there's not going to be any physical events for the rest of 2021 because of the resurgence of different variants of the rotavirus. So PAX Australia went ahead and canceled and became an online only event. Uh, also in the news, PAX West has not been canceled <laughs> because different government. in the States, <laughs> Speaking of they treated a little bit differently. Uh, and uh, these the, looks like the uh, government of at least Seattle or Washington has at least come down and said that you got to be vaccinated to be an event or proven so a, a negative was. test within so many days. Uh, the reason that is also the true. reason to mention that, though, is because last year when we covered the the PAX, I mean, obviously last year was in disarray because everything was different. Um, but Australia, PAX Australia and PAX West were combined uh, for PAX online. Yes. And that was the PAX we got last year. So. It's interesting to see in this situation where we have Australia not happening this year. They're saying it's online. PAX West is like, we're still doing it, um, but we still get online and we're going to probably see online for both. And I'm still excited about it because, man, it was really fun last year, even just virtually attending. Yeah. And the grandmas were off the chain this year. <laughs> All right. Uh, NVIDIA's CEO was CGI. Uh, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang uh, was CGI as part of the, their annual conference, GTC. Um, he had done this CGI thing before uh, his kitchen, who where he likes to hang out and do stuff, yeah. which I was talking about this before. Like, why do people do things in their kitchen? Don't care about your kitchen. It's got a bomb ass kitchen. Don't care. Don't be in your kitchen doing a presentation. Anyway, it was all about 14 seconds of him being CGI, but uh, it was a big to do. Well, the main thing was yeah. it's like he they didn't announce this early. They just said, mm. hey, here's the CEO going to say some things. And he goes through like a little speech or whatever. And then they publicly announced later that actually what you watched was not physically him. This was all CGI. They did a bunch of DSLR cameras, captured him in motion. No, 14 uh, seconds. And then they used all of that footage to create him in a virtual sense. So uh, yeah, pretty yeah. wild. I mean, this isn't new. See, I mean, the whole deep fake thing is kind of wild and like CGI is not new, but it's still wild. But we're now starting to see it. Not now. We're starting to see it more and more in public space. We're like we're well, seeing like the CEO of a person talking and it's not really them. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and it's also not new because one of the things that Kelly mentioned there was that the last time that he had this talk for a short time, his kitchen was virtual and rendered by the whole the whole thing here is that they're trying to advertise their cards, yeah. their cards, rendered yeah. these scenes. Uh, yeah. Um, Amazing. Yeah. But but still. So Twitch, it's a kitchen. Oh, my God, has listened to their audience. Not really, but small one, small, small, small step for 
people, I guess. Uh, they actually announced this week that they are going to now send emails uh, of any violations that you get that you're suspended. They're going to send you an email and let you know why. No, no I'm sorry. Back that up. They're going to let you know <laughs> which stream got you banned. So they're not going to tell you why you got banned necessarily. It'll still say like you violated terms of service because of mm. terms of service. But it was because of the stream where you were in a hot tub and you were naked and you didn't forget to like turn off your camera. That happens to be the stream that you titled. And that's the one that you got blocked from. So they're actually going to give. And this is actually a huge improvement from the past because before yes. they wouldn't give you anything. They would just block you and you would just be banned. And all of a sudden, that's it. At least now there's going to be some little shine of light of why. Um, so hopefully yeah. that'll keep evolving as time goes on. But it's better than nothing. So lastly, we have a combination here. We have a company that um, doesn't understand that there's a <laughs> pandemic going on and has decided that they're Sorry. going to have extremely small steps. Literally small steps between you and the person next to you as you try to play. I forgot Pokemon I run go because they <laughs> I did. I reverted. do. I remember this now. Uh, I, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. They I reverted. All of the things that they had done for the pandemic to, like, let people social distance and do, uh, you know, gym raids and pokey stops and stuff like that at a distance from each other. <laughs> and they reverted this for New Zealand and for the U.S. Now, New Zealand, not as big a deal. COVID. Almost doesn't exist in yeah. New Zealand. In the totally US, fine in New Zealand. Totally fine. A lot of people were extremely upset about I mean, it's this hard to get hobbits infected said, with COVID. It's just different. It's it very is difficult. very hard. It is very they're, they're shorter. Uh, but for the CDC, a lot of people were finding in the US that when they try to do these uh, gym battles, that they had to get uncomfortably close to other people in order to do that. So when they released this new set of monsters people started hashtagging boycott uh uh pokemon go the company niantic came back and said listen we heard you and we're extremely ecstatic about your passion for this and appreciate it so we're gonna put things back the way they were <sighs> at least they listened. Yes. Yes. At least they listened. Yes. So small steps getting their emails. There are no emails this week. But if you want to send us one, send us one. We need people send us one. to get all up. Somebody send, Mike send me an email. email. G.O.A. I want someone. Dot com. Someone needs to get all up in Kelly's. Email. And hmm? actually, because we've been kind of doing this a little bit more frequently than in the past. Uh, if you have a podcast or if you know a friend that has a podcast and they have like a 30 second clip that they want to send us and let us advertise yeah. for them. Or if they're interested in maybe joining the podcast and maybe hanging out for a day and talking to yeah. us, feel free to do that. So send us information. Just totally hang out. GOA at sasgaming.com. Uh, we'll check it out. Listen to it. Do whatever. So I love hanging it out. It doesn't have to be about gaming. Yeah. It doesn't have to be about yeah. the things that we talked about. It can be about anything that you want to talk about. I know one extremely young woman who sent in this fantastic email about these extremely small <laughs> dioramas. That she and look at her. She's now on the show. Amazing. How crazy. So, <laughs> right. Uh, and if you just That's want true. to send something in to have Mike say in his incredibly sexy voice, yes. then you just do that and he's going to say it. Let's do it the uh, sexy within reason. Way, Mike. There will be certain things he won't say. Oh, well, I mean, let's not I don't be crazy. Know. It depends here. on what you pay me. <laughs> you can sub to that Patreon. No I may say whatever you want. That's great. <laughs> um, with mean, that, this, is, fans. Fans. this is what got our attention this week. If you're interested in listening to us outside of the Thursday night, typically Friday night, whatever now uh, podcast time, and you're listening to this on Spotify, uh, you can check us out on the YouTube. We we uh, we actually put all our videos on YouTube. The YouTube. The YouTube. <laughs> so YouTube.com slash SAS Gaming, S-A-S-S Gaming dot com, uh, where you can find all our videos that we post online after this, along with our got our attention. Um, sorry, game of the moment during the week. And other than that, you can find us on. I don't know. Where else can you find us, Brian? Well. You can find us on Instagram and you can find we have a whole page that has links to everyone. 
on well yeah <laughs> sasgaming.com which you can find all of our links on so mm-hmm. i mean it's it's really a toss-up whatever you want to do uh we have something for you if you if you want to do anything with us sas gaming you can find it on our website and we'll we'll pretty much do whatever so uh but if yeah. you do no oh, yeah. if you we'll do, do whatever we're not gonna do well eh, i'm not gonna put anything we're not gonna put limits on us uh if if <laughs> dun, you dun, are dun. interested oh, in supporting us we're not gonna get if you want to be here. our sugar daddy you can go <laughs> to our shame. patreon and you can subscribe <laughs> to us on patreon patreon.com for the record Mike was volunteering slash SAS gaming and for you to be totally our sugar daddy. be our sugar daddy. Pay us <laughs> monthly money and we can do something with it or something. I don't know. Uh, Maybe we can get better. So starting this week, Maybe I'll remember this week, most of the stuff I'm supposed to talk about. Starting this week, uh, you will see that we have credits at the end and uh, you too can get your name on the intranets, the tubes, yeah, as it were by subscribing to our Patreon and you will have your name in the credits. Uh, and we'll also probably do things like uh, shout out to sister and brother podcasts that we're yeah, advertising. We'll for sure. So well. again, podcast friends, whatever, send that to us. We're going to start doing a lot of things, man, because this is for all of us, mm-hmm. like other content creators, us, whoever, yeah. like this is all this is all fun for all of us. Like, let's just have a good time. It is. So. If you want to follow me, you can check me out on Twitter or Twitch, which is Zycia Gaming, uh, XYCIA Gaming, uh, or just Twitch, I think, at XYCIA, I think it is. Um, Brian, what are your deeds? Uh, Phoenix Nova, two ins in Phoenix. And Kelly? I'm Day Drink for ATL on uh, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. Sweet. Well, until next time, next week, uh, you know, hopefully the same time sort of within 24 hours ish uh we'll be here but if not you'll see us at the same time no one ever knows whatever so until next week we love you guys y'all take care and uh, be safe out there y'all take care peace y'all